In this video, we will go over setting up holiday programs in Amy. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to Tools, Program Library. Now the default tab will be the Term Programs page. If we click across to the Holiday Programs page, it will then show us a list of all the holiday programs that have already been set up. The first thing we need to do for the holiday programs is to select our desired sessions and fees. So if we click on the sessions and fees button, it will bring up a list of all the different sessions that we are offering for our programs. To create new sessions, click on the add new session button and it will allow you to input the name of the session, the times, the rates for that session, the item code. Then we select a display order and we can choose apply weekly rate. When we come to book into the holiday program, you will see here that we have selected full day and trip day as display order number one. So they will always show in the first column, like so. The half day morning, number two and here will show here, half day afternoon and then short day being number four display order will show here. Now you can choose up to six different columns for when parents come to book. With the apply weekly rate, it will allow us to add a discounted weekly rate. So for instance, if I book into trip day for three days and the full day for the other two days of the week, they all make up the weekly rate. So then it will offer it to me for $215 for the junior holidays. In this case, we've also got the short day. So if I have a couple of short days in amongst my trip day and full day, but every single day still has one of these three weekly rate sessions, then it will still offer it to me for this weekly, dis this weekly price. In essence, a holiday program is just a template with a list of activities inside of it. So to create a new holiday program, we click on here, select our program name, whatever it may be, a weekly rate which will allow us to select a cheaper rate for the whole week and then we can select the, the tracking options and any sessions and codes that will come along with it. So once we have our program we can edit it, delete it or duplicate it by clicking the copy button. We can view details quickly and we can ma and managing the activity will allow us to add and edit the days inside of the activity. So if I click on the manage activity button, it will open up the junior holiday program. Now we can see here we have a list of nine different days. To add the 10th day, which is what we will do here, we will click add new activity. We will select the name of the activity, which may be rocket ship day the description maybe come along and learn how to build a rocket ship and we can upload an image here we can select age restriction if we feel it's appropriate for a junior or a senior session so we can select for instance 5 to 10 if we want that to be our junior session now this is where we select the default sessions that we set up earlier so we can click here and choose any of those default sessions that were set up or we can click here and it will automatically pull through those sessions now say for instance I didn't we didn't want the trip day there because it's not a trip day we can remove that session by clicking on the right hand minus button. If once we're happy with all the options that are offered, we just click the save button. This will create our 10th item, rocket ship day. Okay. The order 1 to 10 here displays the default order of the holiday program. Whenever you come to make this bookable to parents, it will display in this order. It can be changed, but it will always pull through in this default order. If you wish to change the, this default order, 
simply drag and drop the days around to allow for a different schedule of days. Once we're happy with the, this program that we've created and all of the sessions inside of the program, we can go to Tools, Term Planning, and we find a holiday program. We will select Term 1 Holidays of 2016 here, Junior Holidays, and we click Add. Now this pulls the holiday program into the, the table so that we can schedule them. So if we click on the Schedule Activity button, it allows us to go through and se select which programs we want on which days. Now, here it pulls through the, the default like we had it before. If you still want to change the order at this stage, you can. We want that to be Wheels Day. And then for Wheels Day, we'll change this to Campfire. And once we're happy with the order, we click Save. And it shows here 10 assigned activities. And once we're happy with this, we can click Make Bookable. OK. Parents will now be able to book into the Junior Holiday Program for Term 1 of 2016. This concludes our tutorial on how to set up holiday programs in AMI.